Now, a CBS News exclusive, Margaret Brennan spoke with the wife of a Princeton University scholar imprisoned in Iran since his arrest three years ago today. Jiwei Wang is one of at least five Americans held in Iran, and efforts to free Wang have stalled. He's not a spy. For three years, Hua Chu has fought for her husband Xie Wang's release. He lived in a very cramped underground cell with no lateral light, um, living together with over 25 cellmates. He developed um, a series of um, medical conditions. She has struggled to explain it to their son Xiaofan. He was barely three when my husband left home for his uh, research. And he's now six. He missed him for half of his life already. This is Shafan's last memory of his father. The two made snow angels the day before Xie left for Iran. <laughs> we recently moved to a new apartment. In the first night, he asked me, since we have moved, would my dad still find us? I've had very good uh, luck with hostages. But President Trump has Korea refused to negotiate with Iran on prisoners and vowed Asia. not to replicate the 2016 Obama-era deal that freed That's journalist Jason Rezaian. We're not dealing with Iran right now. We are not talking to them directly. Uh, and we've created a, a wall uh, uh, that has broken down communications between the two sides. What is your message directly to President Trump? My husband is an innocent man. We really need your help to bring him home. State Department officials tell CBS News that a recent prisoner swap offer by Iran is not serious, and they point out that Iran has used Americans to extract concessions from U.S. presidents for decades. Nora, the U.S. is now asking other countries to pressure Iran to release the five detained Americans. All right, Margaret Brennan, thank you. And Margaret's guests this Sunday on Face the Nation include former New York Mayor Mike Bloomberg.